Hello children of class 9. Welcome back to your literature class. How are you all? I believe you all are in good health and fine mood. Okay. Today I am going to uh, discuss the lesson, a poem, A Legend of the Northland. This is written by Forbes Carey. <coughs> Legend means someone who is very famous. J could be famous. ठीक है चाहे एरो को मैं एक टा पर्सन की लीजेंड बोला हुआ है, ओके। इट्स अ पोएम व्हिच इज नरेटिंग द लीजेंड ऑफ एन ओल्ड लेडी हु एंगर्ड सेंट पीटर बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ हर ग्रीड। सेंट पीटर के रागे दिए चिलो, बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ हर ग्रीड, बिकॉज़ शी वांटेड समथिंग। ग्रीड मींस व्हाट शुड � so let's see what the poem tells about. Away, away in the Northland, where the hours of the day are few, and the nights are so long in winter that they cannot sleep them through. Away, away, long, long distance away, there in the Northland, where the hours of the day are few, where the days are very few in time. That means Days are smaller than those of nights. And the nights are so long in winter. During winter season, the nights are so long, they are so lengthy that they cannot sleep them through. Even if you sleep the whole night, it will not be covered up. Nights are so long, but specifically in winter, it has been mentioned. Where they harness the swift reindeer to the sledges, when it snows and the children look like beards cubs in their funny furry clothes where they harness the swift reindeer harness rakhe they keep swift reindeer swift reindeer is very swift it can easily jump or move from one place to another to the sledges when it snows sledge is a specific type of uh, vehicle which is only used in which is only used in snowy areas. <clears throat> the sledge you will not be able to see in any other area except in snowy areas. And the children look like beer's cubs. Why they are compared with beer's cubs? Have you seen a beer? Be a baby beer. It is completely covered with fur because they are having some pushy pushy type body filled up with cubs. I mean furs. And the children residing in snowy area have been forced to wear the jackets with cap and that is having fur on them so that they will not be attacked with snowfall and the tremendous winter. That's where they are being compared with a beard's cub in their funny furry clothes. You see they have already mentioned they are look very funny because they are very fluffy. Clothes are very fluffy and furry. Means at the over the clothes there are furs attached. They tell them a curious story. I don't believe it is true, and yet you may learn a lesson if I tell the tale to you. But you know, they tell them a curious story. Curious, which is sounds to be very interesting. That is curious. Story, story. I don't believe it is true. But I don't believe it is a true story. Maybe it's fictitious, creative. And yet you may learn a lesson, but it's quite a moralistic story. If I tell the tale to you, if I am going to tell you the story, then it's going to be a very um, moralistic story, you can say. So that is, there will be a moral and you are going to learn a lesson from them. <laughs> <clears throat> once when the good saint peter lived in the world below once upon a time there lived a good saint nice saint whose name was peter lived in the world below behind the world somewhere else in the peaceful area he used to live and walked about it preaching just as he did you know and he kept on teaching people good thoughts 
good uh, behaviors good moral stories um good teachings so that they can have a very healthy and a fine life he came to the door of a cottage in traveling round the earth the whole earth he was traveling teaching people good good thoughts good good views good good ideas giving them blessings <clears throat> by that time of roaming he came along across a cottage and he stood in front of the door and he knocked it where a little woman was making cakes and baking them on the hearth there in that cottage a small little woman she was baking cakes and she was keeping it aside for selling probably it was her business and being faint with fasting being faint with for faint means when you feel like you will fall down right now without having sense in yourself fasting fasting means he did not have food to eat for the day was almost done the whole day has gone but he got nothing to eat so he had fasted he asked her from her store of cakes to give him a single one he asked her lady will you please be able to give me one cake because i am fasting the whole day and i am feeling that i'll just fell down and i'll get fainted again hoy jawa so he wanted a cake from that baking lady who was baking the cakes so what do you think has the give lady given the cake to him god knows that we will see in our next session okay read the poem it's a very nice poem and i believe you are going to learn really a lesson from here bye bye